Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video we've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo with us. So let's go ahead and unbox this and take a quick look inside. So this is the packaging that it comes in, similar to what we've seen with the S4 and the Note 3. Uh, so you've got your regular stuff on the sides, Galaxy Neo, uh, Note 3 Neo branding and what's on the box and here on the back, let me just zoom in. Okay, you've got a quick little set of highlights. So, uh, the frequency supported CPU, that's an Exynos, uh, 5260 chipset, four, uh, Cortex A, I mean, two Cortex A15 cores, 1.7 gigahertz, four A7 cores, 1.3 gigahertz. And that's a 5.5 inch 720p display, uh, Super AMOLED, as you can see, S Pen 8 megapixel rear camera, battery 3100 mAh, blah blah blah. Let's go ahead, open this. So, there you go. Zooming out again. The Note 3 Neo. So, there it is. So this is about 0.3 millimeters thicker than the Note 3. Anyway, we'll get back to the Note 3 Neo in a bit. Uh, just let's get, get everything out of the box first. So here's your quick start guide and other booklets and uh, wall adapter. 3100 milliamp hour battery. Micro USB cable. Micro USB 2.0 Replacement tips for the S Pen And you've got your earphones So, uh, replacement earbuds as well of course So that's pretty much it So let me go ahead quickly put these aside I'll get back to you guys So this is the Note 3 Neo So like I said it's 0.3 millimeters thicker than the Note 3 But it's about 6 grams or 5.5 grams lighter Okay, let me pull my Note 3 out. Okay. So that's my Note 3 side by side with the Note 3 Neo. So as you can see, it's a little smaller. It's a little narrower. It's a little shorter, but a bit thicker. So on the back, it's similar plastic for leather. But uh, the Note 3 Neo trades off the 13 megapixel camera for a 8 megapixel rear shooter, LED flash, Samsung branding, the S Pen. So that's the S Pen, similar to the one found on the Note 3. So that's that. So apart from that, the sides are a little different. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, USB 2.0, micro USB 2.0 port instead of the 2.3 found in the Note 3. Button placements are pretty similar. So, okay, let's quickly open up the back. And let's pop the battery in. So this is a 3100 milliampere hour battery instead of the 3200 milliampere hour battery found on the Note, uh, Note 3. So, just popping it in. You got your in, uh, SIM card and micro SD card slot here stacked on top of each other just like with the Note 3. But what's different here is that this phone comes with 16 gigs internal storage and the display is 5.5 inches. Uh, yes, it's Super AMOLED, but 5.5 inches gives it a pixel density of 267 pixels per inch, just like with the Galaxy Note 2 before this. So anyway, booting up. So there you go, we're up. So let me quickly run through setup. So there you go guys, we're up. So that's your multi-window bar here. And uh, TouchWiz, love it or hate it, you've got TouchWiz here. Going into settings, general about device. It's running Android 4.3, the same version found on the Galaxy Note 3. A little while back, the Note 3 is currently on KitKat though, in most places. So that's your magazine, my magazine app. So you get a lot of Samsung apps. 
as hell it's all available here okay let's quickly go into device controls motion controls a lot of them are available air view okay software update but air view does work air commands does work as well so generally with the galaxy grand lineup if you've seen my review you know that samsung does omit quite a few key features that doesn't seem to be the way the note 3 neo is being handled here mm, first glance everything from the note 3 is kind of present over here okay so we've got a firmware update and we'll do that in a bit so that's the air commands and yeah there's also features the one-handed mode so there you go we first saw this with the galaxy note 3 so uh software features wise it hasn't been crippled uh like with the galaxy grand series even the ir blaster makes its way over so seems pretty sweet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be playing with this phone for a week uh 10 days possibly and then i'll be coming out of the full review so make sure you stay subscribed for that so okay let me just open up the camera once before we're done so that's the camera sound and shot is there eraser modes available sports mode yeah quite a few modes are here but others like the call swing or whatever okay let's just my note three is out of juice so anyway i'll be using this phone intensively for a bit and uh i'll make sure that i come out of the full review so like i said make sure you guys stay subscribed so i guess that pretty much wraps up this video hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and until next time this is ash here from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now